y'all, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to Mondays here on Daily Diabetics. This week's theme is freestyle, so I thought for this week's video I would do something I've never done before on YouTube and show you guys how I make one of my favorite summer desserts in the entire world. It is so, so good. It's so simple. It's only got three ingredients and it takes like 15 minutes. So good. So what we call this is an Oh My Hershey Pie. I don't know where the original recipe came from. I know we got it from a family friend, but I don't know who originally came up with the idea for this pie, but I love it. It's so good and so simple to make. So I wanted to share it with you guys today for a nice summer treat. So if you guys want to know how I make this really yummy pie, then just keep on watching. Okay, so what you are going to need for this recipe is a, a big pot, a small pot, or a bowl. I normally use a pot bigger than this, so I'm going to use a bowl today. You are going to need a large container of Cool Whip. This one is 16 ounces. You are going to need a chocolate pie crust. We get ours from Kroger. You are going to need a spoon or something to stir with. I just really like this silicone little like spatula spoon. And then you are going to need three extra large Hershey bars. Depending on how chocolatey you want the pie to be, you can use more, you can use less. But this is just what I use to make it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is fill up your big pot with water. You're gonna wanna bring it on to your stove. And I turn the stove on like medium high heat. And when you put the water in, you're gonna wanna make sure that the water touches your bowl so that the chocolate will melt. But then you're going to take your Hershey bars and you're just going to want to open them up. And I like to break them up based on like the little squares in a Hershey bar. On the last Hershey bar, you're gonna wanna set aside four of the squares to top the pie with, and then the rest you're just going to continue to break. So there's a lot of chocolate in there, and you're just gonna wanna let this heat up and melt. So while we wait for that, I'm going to cut up the chocolate that I am gonna put on the top. Um, I always just kinda like cut it into small pieces. Um, you can shred it. I've used like a cheese grater and shredded it before. Uh, but you just put this on top and it makes the pie look pretty. chocolate is ready you should be able to lift the spoon or spatula and have it run without any chunks okay so then I'm gonna take this off very carefully because the bottom of this bowl is gonna be very hot and I'm gonna put it on this towel over here so then what I'm gonna do is take my cool whip and just dump it in here and mix it as fast as I can because the cool whip even though it's like not frozen, it's just like melted, it will start to cool down the chocolate and then it will be very hard to stir. So I'm gonna dump the Cool Whip in there and stir as fast as I can. when I don't see any like white streaks in it and if you do see white streaks that's okay um, but if you are stirring in the cool whip with the chocolate and the chocolate starts to solidify you can put your bowl back on the pot of warm water and gently stir it on the pot of boiling water and it will remelt the chocolate but thankfully I didn't have that issue because I left my cool whip out so we have this really pretty like chocolate Cool Whip, and I'm just going to take this and dump it in here. I'm going to leave your spoon, and 
I kind of flatten it out a little bit um, and the lid's not gonna fit on this pie either. Um, if you use, or if you want less pie filling, you can use a small thing of Cool Whip, but I really like how it looks when it's like all big and fluffy like this. And you will take your chocolate and just kind of place it wherever you want it to be. Ta-da! Okay, so this is what the finished pie looks like. You will then want to stick it in the freezer for like four or five hours, depending on how much Cool Whip you put in here. I'm gonna leave this until tonight. Probably have a slice of it for dessert. Pie is not super healthy. I'm aware of that, but it is really good. And if you want an easy treat to make for your family, I definitely recommend it. One slice has about 30 carbs. But if you're gonna treat yourself, I definitely recommend trying this because it is so good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to our channel down below. We post new videos every single day. And with all that being said, I will see you guys next week with a brand new theme and a brand new video. Bye.